and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. It's time to do my makeup. <laughs> so today is Thursday and we have already finished homeschool for the day. I just got back from my first walk. I'm trying to go on several like small walks throughout the day to hit my goal of 10,000 steps. I have not hit my goal yet. I haven't had a day where I hit it, but I'm more up in the 7,000, 8,000 range every day, so definitely an improvement. So I have a lot going on today. Um, I'm going to get my oil changed later at 7 p.m. That was the earliest they could fit me in. I made this appointment two weeks ago, and the earliest appointment they had was 7 p.m. tonight. It was kind of crazy to me. Maybe people are like getting their cars ready for winter, I'm not sure. So as far as work goes, I need to film a budget check-in video, a budget check-in slash savings challenge video. I'm combining the two. I just don't have enough content to make two, that into two videos. Like it just wouldn't be long enough. So I'm combining the two together. Plus when I sit down to do my budget, I know how much I have at that point to do my savings challenges. So it's just like, it just makes sense to do it all at the same time. I also need to fill orders. I think that once I fill these orders today, I think we're down to zero for the week. So we're in good shape there. So I'm gonna fill orders and then I need to retire a whole bunch of stickers. Um, we have the Black Friday sale coming up next week and I would like to have these stickers retired before then. So I'm gonna retire them either today or tomorrow and I'll give you guys a few days to like pick them up in case you want them because um, I'm retiring the patterns. So they'll be retired by Wednesday so they won't be available for the Black Friday sale. So I want to get, the, get all that out before then. I also wanna do my nails today. I think I'm just going to do, I'm just gonna take off I have like this on right now. I think I'm just gonna take it off and then put it on again, just to freshen it up. This is like a nail strengthening thing. I got it at Target. They didn't have the brand I usually get, which is an OPI nail strengthening. Um, that's the one I like, they didn't have that, so I'm giving this one a shot. I do like it because I think it gives the clear polish just like a tint of pink, which I think is really pretty. So I'm gonna get that done before I fill my budget check-in video, so I have fresh nails for that. I've also had several companies that I've worked with in the past like to promote their products. I, by the way, I only promote products on my channel that I actually use and enjoy. I never promote a product I don't actually like. So anyways, I've had several um, companies reach out to me. I think this is just, you know, it's like their busy time of the year, just like it's my busy time of the year. So I've got to figure out the companies I've decided to work with. I've got to figure out where I want to plug in promoting their products. You know, I've got to decide what video I should do it in and like what I want to say. They never tell me what to say. <laughs> like I always write my own script. Um, so far, I've never had a company complain about what I've said about them, but uh, yeah, so I need to do that. I need to decide what videos I'm gonna promote their products on and I need to write scripts basically to do a little like promotion. I think that kind of stuff is super fun. Before I became a teacher, so I went to graduate school to become a teacher. So my undergraduate degree is actually in marketing and business administration. So I've always found like advertising and marketing and promoting of products just kind of an interesting industry. And it's fun to, to advertise and promote products like, that I actually enjoy. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's the rest of my day. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys. Oh, I've just been dealing with student loan stuff for the last hour. So a quick update on that. Nothing has been resolved, but I did get to send them uh, a form from Naviant saying I did in fact make payments all of that time that I was employed as a teacher. I made payments to my student loans. So I should qualify for um, loan forgiveness. But at this moment, nothing's been resolved except for I've been able to send paperwork proving that I made payments. So now it's just a waiting game again. <laughs> And I, and I went, then I went to film 
my budget check-in and savings uh, uh, savings challenge video and my phone was dead because I had been on the phone for a freaking hour. <laughs> so I thought, let's just take a breather and do something fun. So I have two, oh, I can't even lift it, two packages here. <laughs> Happy mail packages that I thought would be fun to open. First of all, this huge package is from Budget with Ira, my UK friend. He has a channel called Budget with Ira. I do have it linked in my um, video description. Um, it's actually, I always have his, his, um, his, well, I always have his Etsy shop linked in my uh, videos because I like supporting him. But I, I in, in the description box of my videos, I have a section called favorite Etsy shops and he's listed there. And he's actually my only favorite Etsy shop at the moment. So <laughs> he's the only one listed there. Um, so we'll open that in a second. And then this big heavy box, oh, it's from one of you guys. And I already know what's in it, but I haven't seen it yet. So let me open it up here. A huge shout out and thank you to Lily Wong who sent this to me. You guys spoil me. You guys never ever ever have to get me anything seriously but um, you guys are just so freaking awesome. You guys are gonna be so surprised but you're gonna be like yes you needed that. <laughs> So in um, one of my vlogs, it may have even been last week, I was talking, or no, it was a couple weeks ago. I was talking about how I didn't have, oh shoot, what's this called you guys? What's this called? This kind of pot? Well, I don't have one. So she got me one and it's cast iron and it has a lid. The lid is cast iron too. So oh, here's what it looks like. <laughs> so I was making a recipe where I needed this and I didn't have it so I was just improvising and she got it for me. Thank you so much. It came with this like cute little like recipe book and um Oh, and then like a book on how to care for cast iron, which I already have cast iron, so I know how to care for it. It takes special care, but um, how fun. I cannot wait to cook with this now. We're definitely gonna have to make something. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time this week because it's already Thursday, but we will definitely be using this quite often. Thank you, Lily. Okay, let's open up this package from Ira. I think I know what this is but let's just open it and see. It's so pretty. Ah, pink box. <laughs> okay, so this box is so pretty. He wrote me a letter. So let me read the letter to myself real quick. Oh, okay, oh my gosh. He sent me, oh shoot, I just tore the box a little bit. Let me put the sticker back on to cover. I <laughs> put the sticker back on to cover up the part that I tore a little bit. Um, thank you so much, Ira. So this is actually his advent calendar, and he asked me not to open it before, you know, each date. It says, please don't open until the sticker's messed up. I can't see the date, but I think, oh, it's December. December 13th. Okay guys, so sorry, I can't open it yet. We will open it on December 13th and check out all the goodies that Ira sent me. I can't wait. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. I've always like heard of like, he, his shop is different. He's a budgeting shop and I'm a sticker shop, but I've heard of sticker shops that do advent calendars and I always thought that was such a fun idea, but I never like know what to put in there. So I can't wait to see what's gonna be in this. We'll have to open it throughout the month of December. Okay, <laughs> I better get back to work. Blah, blah.
happy Friday. So I hit the ground running this morning. We, um, I <laughs> filled a bunch of orders. You would have seen that footage already, but here are the packages that I need to take to the post office. I wanna get that done before we do homeschool today. We haven't done homeschool yet. So um, I need to run a few errands. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the pharmacy at Target. I need to run to the grocery store. So I wanna get all that done, come home, do homeschool with Logan. It is already 1219 and he has friends coming over this evening. We have to leave here at 415 to pick them up. So I have exactly, or just almost exactly four hours to run all my errands, do homeschool with Logan. I also want to, before his friends get here, I just want to quickly dust, vacuum, if I have time, sweep and mop, check the bathroom, make sure it's wiped down and clean. <sighs> Whole lot going on. So, oh, and then well, while his friends are here, I'm going to work on um, retiring some sticker patterns. So what that means is some of my patterns will be retiring from the shop. I, they will be available until next Wednesday and then they won't be available anymore. So I need to let people know that those um, are being retired. So I have to just create some um, like advertising through my Canva, my Canva, I wanna say app, but that's not it you know, on the computer, whatever an app is on the computer, Canva program. <laughs> so I'm gonna create some advertising for that, get that up tonight. And I honestly, I don't know what else. That's all I can like keep in my mind at this moment. Yesterday was such a like rough day for me. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I usually, I try so hard not to be, not to dwell in the negative because I can do that. I can dwell in the negative and then like, I just tank, like I just go downhill and I don't wanna get out of bed and I don't wanna do anything. And I take medication to help me with this. Um, and I was, I've been taking my medication. I was on my medication yesterday, but it was just a bad day. Um, so I'm feeling so much better today. I went to bed last night. I'm like, I'm just gonna, just gonna say this day is over tomorrow is a new day by the way this sweater and the one that i was wearing yesterday are from my friend beth she recently decluttered and cleaned out her closet and she had a bunch of stuff to donate to charity and asked me if i wanted to like go through and pick out some stuff for myself first and i was so excited because she's like the cutest dresser she has the cutest like wardrobe so i was so excited i love that sweater that i was wearing yesterday i love this one i just feel like this color um goes well with my eyes I don't know if you can tell but like very similar <laughs> in color so I'm feeling really like I don't know I just feel really pretty <laughs> in, in these in these new clothes and these new clothes for me okay let me go run my errands and do homeschool and clean the house and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit Hi guys, it is so dark. It is 5, 10 p.m. <laughs> it is this dark out. It's gonna be pitch black pretty soon here. So we have been so busy today. I got almost everything done that I needed to get done till this point. We didn't quite do all of everything I had planned for homeschool and I didn't get all of the cleaning done, but I got a little bit of both done and then I also ran all my errands. So what I need to work on now Logan's here with his friends. I'm gonna work on retiring the stickers. So let me do that. And also too, I couldn't remember if I told you guys, but when I was filling orders earlier today, I had a package going to New Zealand and I had that problem happen with the shipping again. So I am going to, I went ahead and filled that order because it's a very loyal customer who's been with me for years and I wanted her to get what she ordered. So I went ahead and filled that order and I just covered the shipping, but I went ahead and I canceled shipping internationally for now until I can figure out why it's costing like $60 to send a package when it used to cost 20. So um, anywho, let me go and get 
these stickers retired and I'll check back in with you and let you know what patterns are being retired because when this comes out, this will come out on Sunday, um, you'll still have a few days to get those, grab those stickers if you want them before they retire because they're going to be gone on Wednesday. It'll be the last day that they're available. Okay, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay guys, here is a quick look of at all the patterns that are retiring. Um, they're starting today, which is Friday, November 17th, and they'll be available until next Wednesday, November 22nd. So this is Iris, Blue, New Year's 2023, Winter Wonderland, Red and Black, and pink and purple. So there are six patterns that are retiring this week. They are currently 20% off in the shop. If they sell out before next Wednesday, I will continue to restock them until Wednesday. After Wednesday, they will no longer be available. So this rarely happens. I have finished everything on today's to-do list, everything. So now I need to decide, it's only six o'clock at night, so I need to decide what I want to do. Um, part of me thinks I should fill the open orders because I still have six open orders this week, but another part of me just wants to work on my budget. If you saw my budget video yesterday, I, I got pretty frustrated with it, um, but I'm feeling refreshed and I'm ready to like take another look at it. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to work on my budget. Hey guys, so I just finished filming my like yearly budget setup. So those are the pages at the like front of the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck workbook. And I just feel so, so good about it. Um, I talked to David last night and he agreed that going forward as far as the budget goes and what I share online, he said, uh, we talked about me decide the best thing for me to do would be to share the whole budget everything um, and to not share our income. That way we can still keep that private, but we can share the budget part where the whole idea of you set up a budget, you try to follow it, you check in to see if you're following it, if you're staying on track, that sort of thing. So I'm so excited that I'm gonna go that route. That's like, oh, it's a huge like burden off my shoulders to be able to go back to um, sharing my budget with you guys that way. So the first step was getting my, my budget set up for the year here, and now I'm ready to uh, for December to get it all set up like and share. I'm so excited. <laughs> so it is only 7.40 right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video, take the kids home, and then we'll probably head to bed for the night. So I'll check in with you guys um, at another time. Hello, friends. Happy Saturday. So, I have quite a long to-do list today, but let me just share my top three with you. So first of all, I need to film a little, um, a video for Teddy Blake. They're, they are a very, like they're a higher end bag company that I've worked with in the past and I'm gonna do a video for them today. So I'm very excited, I love Teddy Blake. So I need to film, edit, upload that. I think that will be coming out on Tuesday this week because Monday I'm going to have my um, setup for the Budget Mom, Budget by Paycheck workbook for the annual setup. I'm gonna have that come out on Monday. So then I also need to clean this office. It is a mess. <laughs> it's like, I try to clean my office every night as like a shutdown ritual, like a shut down the office, clean everything up. But I was just like all of a sudden, boxes have just like accumulated. Here, let me show you. So I've got, boxes here which i um, unboxed with you earlier this this week just empty paper box i need to break that down this is a half empty box that has like my envelopes uh, my bigger envelopes in it i need to open this and put it away i just like, here's more i've got a whole stack of planners there that i need to sort through i haven't even opened this Aaron condren order yet i've got more um uh, stuff here that's come in that I need to open and sort and store. So yeah, just overall, my office is feeling very messy and I just want to get it cleaned up and organized. I also, I think I'm going to go ahead and sweep and mop these floors. Yeah. And it would be nice to get it like nice and clean 
before Black Friday, which is this Friday, because as I said before, Black Friday is like when my busy season hits really hard and then I'm busy for like three to four months straight with very, very little downtime. So if I could get this all clean and organized before Friday, that would be good. Actually, I'm gonna do it today. <laughs> that's the goal, to do it today. So that's my second thing. And then my third thing is, is I wanna fill any orders that from last week that I did not finish, I wanna get those filled today as well. I think there's only six of them. So that should only take like two hours, I think, to fill those because I have to print, cut, and fill all on my own. I don't have Jacob to help me with any of the process. Okay, so those are my top three today. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But before I get started, I have more Happy Mail. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. This is from Sticky. Sticky Handmade with Love by Lorena, I believe. Um, and Sticky is spelled with two Ks. So when I first saw, so this is from, from the United Kingdom. When I first saw the rest from the United Kingdom, I thought, oh, Ira sent me something else. And then I realized, oh no, it's not from Ira. <laughs> so let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, this packaging is gorgeous. They have their name like all over this paper. Oh, I love that. And her thank you card has like, it's a, a cutout that says thank you and then it has all of her information here here's her information in case you want to screenshot that okay I'm gonna read her note to me really quickly thank you I, I believe you're I, thank you Lorena 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 thank you Lorena I am so excited okay guys let's open this up here let's see if I can open it up with you okay <laughs> oh my gosh Let's do top down. There's a whole package here. Lots of stickers. Wow, um, her packaging is just so cool. Oh, that is so cute. What a cute sticker. Here's uh, her information again. We've got some really cute weather icons. I love it. And some cute Christmas stickers. Okay, but here, oh, and oh, a holograph sticker as well. If you can tell that's holograph. Okay, so we have some gorgeous savings challenge envelopes here. This first one says winter, and then we have autumn, summer, and spring. So let's open them up and see what they look like on the inside. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no idea what material this is, but it feels like the cover, it's like hard plasticky material. It feels like the cover of the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck workbook, like that kind of material. So she's got a little savings challenge here, bright colorful savings challenge, and then she has stickers that go onto the savings challenge. This is so cool. Okay, so these stickers, let's see. Okay, so she has a sticker. I don't know if you guys can see it. She has a sticker for each week and then it tells you how much to save for that week. I am totally going to add this to my savings challenges. This is so cool. So, and then she even tells you when to start it. So here it says the first day of winter is December 21st. So I would start this on December 21st and she tells you when it ends. The last day of winter is March 20th. Wow, I'm absolutely gonna do this. I'm so excited. And this, look at this holographic, oh, so fun. Okay, so that's winter. Let's take a look at autumn. Here is what autumn looks like. Let's take a look at summer. Here is what the summer looks like. And let's take a look at spring. This is such a fun idea. And it's gonna be so easy to add to what I'm currently doing for savings challenges. Okay guys, let's get this office cleaned up.
Okay, I feel better now. My, my office is a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organized. I could definitely do more. I could probably spend all day cleaning my office and decluttering and getting rid of stuff. I love decluttering. I love clearing out like crowded spaces and just having a clean start. But um, I have work to do. So I am going to log off here. I'm about to film my Teddy Blake um, my Teddy Blake video and then fill orders and then I'll be done working for the day but I'm gonna go ahead and log off here and say goodbye to you guys thank you so much for joining me for another week in my Etsy shop and a week in my life I hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time bye everyone Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order